Hey guys, today's topic is going to be counting problems and it consists of four parts which are permutation, combination, arrangement and multiplication. Okay, so we will start with permutation. Okay, so permutation is Pn. It has the formula of n factorial. Now you have to understand that n factorial is actually the multiplication of all natural numbers starting from 1 till number n. You also have to understand that a number before n is n minus 1. You can also represent n factorial as n minus 1 factorial times n. So for example, 5 factorial will be 4 factorial times 5. Or 5 factorial is the same as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, for example. Uh, okay, so what are the keys for permutation? So the first key is that we have n objects by n positions. The second one is that order does matter. And each element uh, in our set has to be only used once. So it's only used once. Now, for example, let's solve some problems. So the first problem, how many six digit integer numbers can be formed from the last six digits if each digit can be used only once? So uh, we have last six digits. They are nine, eight, seven, six, five and four. Now we have to form six digit numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six places and six numbers. So we have n objects by n numbers where each object has to be used only once and uh, their order does matter because we're forming the numbers. So it will be just P6 because the permutation of six elements. So it will be just six factorial, which is 720. So it was the first problem. Now let's do some more. For example, how many six digit integer numbers can be formed from the first six digits if each digit can be used only once? So again, we have uh, digits. We have to um, form a six digit number, but now we have only first six digits, which are zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we have to understand that a number cannot start with zero, so we only have a choice of five numbers in the first position. So it will be just five numbers here. And for example, let's say it was one. Now, how many numbers are left? Five numbers by five positions. So it will be just P5, because each element should be used only once. It's just permutation. Five factorial. So the total answer is going to be five times uh, 5 factorial, which is 5 times 120, which is 600. Now, let's do another one. Uh, in how many ways can six people be arranged along the straight wall? So we have a straight wall, so it means that we have six positions for six people. Again, we have n objects by n positions where each object should be used only once and their order does matter. So it's just P6, which is 6 factorial, which is 720. So the next thing is combination. Combination is C and K. Its formula is looking like this. N factorial over K factorial times N minus K factorial. So C is basically the number of combination between N elements. by k positions. You also have to understand that k is less than n. So we have more elements that we do uh, have positions. Now the second uh, thing is that our order in combination doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And each element should be used only once. Let's solve some problems. So the first problem is 3 out of 22 students are on daily duty in the class. And how many variants is it possible to choose 3 students to carry out the duty? Okay, so we have to choose only 3 people out of 22. 
we know that we have more elements that we do have positions where order doesn't matter because it's the same job and each element should be used only once because they are different people now let's see all these keys refer to combinations so we have to use c and k in our case we have 22 students and we have to choose three of them so it will be just c 22 3 it will be 22 factorial over uh, 3 factorial times 22 minus 3 factorial. It will be 22 factorial over 3 factorial times 19 factorial. Now, you guys know that I can uh, just simplify it like 19 factorial times 20 times 21 times 22. Now, these two cancel out. We know that 3 factorial is 6. We can cancel these two out. It will be 3 here, 11 here. Now these two, it will be 7, so the total answer is 1540. Okay, what's the first one? Now let's do the second one. Okay, so the second, the second problem. Seven points lie on the circle. How many triangles can be formed using these uh, points? So we have a circle and seven points lying on them. We have to form a triangle. For example, I will choose these three points. We know that in order to form a triangle, we have to take only three points. So how do we uh, find the number of all variants of these triangles? We have to use C and choose three points out of seven points. I used C because the order of these points doesn't matter because ABC and CBA is the same thing. So it will be 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 minus 3, which is 4 factorial. I cancel these two out, it will be 5, 6, 7. We know that 3 factorial is also 6, so we can cancel these two out. It will be just 35. And let's go to the next problem. It will be number 3. There are 5 boys and 3 girls in the class. So in the class we have 5 boys, we have 3 girls. So in the whole class, we have eight pupils. Now, in how many ways can a group of three students be formed? So we have to form a group which consists of three people. Okay, so order here does not matter, and we have to choose uh, three people out of eight. So we have to use C, combination out of eight students. We're choosing only three of them. So it will be eight factorial over three factorial times eight minus three, which is five factorial. Now we cancel these two out, it will be 6, 7, 8. This is the same thing, so it will be just 56. Okay, so the next thing is arrangement. So arrangement A and K, uh, its formula is looking like this, n factorial over n minus k factorial. Now A is basically the arrangement of n objects by k positions. Where order does matter. Order does matter. And each element should be used only once. Okay, so let's solve some problems. How many four-digit uh, integer numbers can be formed from the last six digits if each digit can be used only once? Okay, so now we have to form a four-digit number. A four-digit number out of the last six digits. What are the last six digits? It's nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four. Now, uh, we know that here we have only four positions and six different digits. If we change the order of these digits, we will get a new number. So it means that order does matter. These are all the keys of arrangement. We have to use uh, them uh, each element only once, so it's uh, the third one. So uh, we have to use arrangement, arrangement of six elements by four positions. It will be just six factorial over six minus four, which is two factorial. Cancel these two out, we will get three times four times five times six. It will be just how much? It will be 360. Okay, let's do another one. So the second problem, there are 10 employees at the company. In how many ways can three employees be chosen for three different positions? So we have three different positions and it means that order does matter. 
of course we have to use each element only once because they're different people and that's why we use arrangement a 10 3 we have 10 people by three positions it will be 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial it will be 10 factorial over 7 factorial and i cancel this out 8 9 10 7 20. In the third one, how many four-digit integer odd numbers can be formed from the last six digits if each digit can be used only once? So again, we have to uh, find out how many possible variants are there of creating four number, four-digit number. Again, we have four uh, positions from the last six digits. Last six digits are nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four. But this time they have to be uh, odd numbers. So in order for a number to be odd, this last digit should be odd. Uh, here we only have three odd numbers, which are 9, 7 and 5. So it means that here in the last position we have a variant uh, of 3. So we have three variants here. And for example, let's say it was 5. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 numbers left. So five numbers left by three positions where order does matter and we have to use each element only once. It means that we have to use arrangement. A, five, three. So the total answer will be A, five, three times three because here we have three variants. It will be five factorial over two factorial times three. Okay, so if you do this, it will be three times four times five and the answer will be just 180. Basically, this was the arrangement. And the last thing is multiplication. So you have to understand the fact that in multiplication, we can have uh, different numbers which are, uh, which are used more than once. So let's say, for example, a credit card has four digit numerical pin code. How many possible combinations of pin code can be formed for this card? So we have a four digit pin code. It means that we can use uh, each digit here and here and here and here and doesn't matter. Um, we also have to understand the fact that here we can also have zero because it's not a number, it's just a pin code, right? Now, how many digits do we have at all? We have uh, 10 digits, which are from zero to nine. It means 10 variants are here, 10 variants here, same and same. So it means that uh, in order to find the number of all the variants, we just have to multiplicate them all. We will get a 10 to the fourth power, which is 10,000. Now let's solve another one. In how many ways is it possible to enter and exit the building if there are only 10 doors in the building? So we have a building which has 10 doors and we have to find the number of variants of entering and exiting from this building. So while you enter, you have the choice of 10, of 10 doors while entering. And while exiting, you also have the choice of 10 doors. So you just only have to multiplicate them. It will be 100 different variants. Okay, now take a look at the third one. It's almost the same, but it says, in how many ways is it possible to enter and exit the building if there are only 12 doors in the building and no door can be used twice? So we have uh, the choice of 12 doors while entering. Now we've entered through one of them. While exiting, we only have 11 variants because one of them we have already chosen and it says no door can be used twice. Okay, so we just have to multiplicate them and the total answer will be 132. Now I hope you understood it, guys. Bye.